I published this piece about a week ago. And number 11, the last one is macro shock meets unprepared company. Sequoia just published that coronavirus is the black swan of 2020. It feels like we're about to go into one of these periods where once or twice a decade, you get some macro shock that hits the startup ecosystem. Fundraising either drives up completely or you get a reevaluation of the fundraising criteria. The startup that is unprepared for that gets caught flat-footed. If you have a high burn startup that meets a macro shock, that's frequently a cause for blitz fail. You thought there was always going to be a bigger, better deal out there, and you raised your burn accordingly, and then all of a sudden you have a macro shock. That's the recipe for running out of money and dying. Since I've been in Silicon Valley over the past 20 years, we've really had two of these mega macro shocks. The first one was the dot-com crash that started in 2000, but really went on until about 2002. Fundraising dried up. It was just about impossible to raise money. PayPal did, but it was really hard. We turned over a lot of rocks, and you saw companies slowly run out of money and die. There's a website called fuckcompany.com that memorialized these startups just running out of money and dying. In 2008, 2009, you had the real estate crash, which caused the Great Recession. And it wasn't directed at startups specifically or the venture asset class. It wasn't our asset class this time that was troubled or toxic. But for a time, it depressed valuations and made it much harder to fundraise. One takeaway for founders is to always make sure they've got a sufficient cash cushion to weather a storm. And if it's necessary to cut burn, do it as soon as possible so that you can start to benefit from the additional runway. Because the sooner you cut, the more runway you get on the other side.